Two people were killed and four were hospitalized after gas leaked overnight at a pharmaceutical unit in Andhra Pradesh in Vishakhapatnam. Those who died were present at the leak site, the police said, adding that the situation is under control. The latest incident comes nearly two months after 11 people were killed and over a thousand left sick after a gas leaked at a chemical plant in Vishakhapatnam. As tensions along the border continue, the government of India has decided to ban several Chinese apps, diverting data and those with privacy issues. A ban has been announced on 59 such Chinese apps, including TikTok. A statement by the Ministry of Information Technology said, invoking its power under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act, and in view of the emergent nature of threats, the government has decided to block 59 apps, since in view of information available, they are engaged in activities which is prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India, the defence of India, security of the state and public order. Popular among youngsters, TikTok crossed the 2 billion mark soon after surpassing the 1.5 billion mark in the first quarter of 2020. Out of the 2 billion, India turned out to be the biggest driver with over 611 million downloads. Among the other banned apps are file transfer app Share It, UC Browser, shopping apps like Shine, Romway and Club Factory. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the nation at 4pm on Tuesday, his office has tweeted. His address will come amid an ongoing standoff between India and China at Ladakh's Galwan Valley and a surge in coronavirus cases that has shown little sign of slowing down. PM Modi on Sunday in his Man Ki Baat radio show said that India had given a befitting response to China on Ladakh, praising the army which fought Chinese troops at the Galwan Valley earlier this month. PM also spoke of the call for boycotting Chinese goods by traders and the civil society. PM's address comes as India banned 59 Chinese old mobile apps, including TikTok, WeChat and UC Browser. The government on Monday announced fresh guidelines as part of Unlock 2.0. The government said the lockdown in containment zones will continue till the 31st of July. Schools, colleges, educational institutions and coaching centres, cinemas, religious shrines, gyms, international air travel and metro services will remain closed till the end of July. Social, political, sports, entertainment academic and cultural functions, along with other large congregations, will remain prohibited. The government has also specified night curfew rules under Unlock 2.0. Movement of individuals shall remain strictly prohibited between 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. throughout the country, except for essential activities, including operations of industrial units in multiple shifts, movement of persons and goods on the national state highways, loading and unloading of cargo and travel of persons to their destinations after disembarking from buses, trains and airplanes. First potential COVID-19 vaccine to be developed in India has been given approval for Phase 1 and 2 human clinical trials that are scheduled to start across the country in July. Developed by Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech in association with ICMR, Covaxin is an inactivated vaccine created from a strain of the infectious SARS-CoV-2 virus. The vaccine has shown promise in preclinical studies, demonstrating extensive safety and effectiveness immune responses. Researchers in China have discovered a new type of swine flu that's capable of triggering a pandemic, according to a study published in the US science journal PNAS. Named G4, it's genetically descended from the H1N1 strain that caused a pandemic in 2009. It possesses all the essential hallmarks of being highly adapted to infect humans, say the scientists at Chinese universities and China's Center for Disease Control and Prevention, who have authored the study. The study has revealed revealed that 10.4% of swine workers had already been infected, which means that the virus has already passed from animals to humans. In continuing pushback against hateful content online, Reddit and Twitch have taken action against accounts related to US President Donald Trump. Reddit on Monday said it yanked a forum used by Trump supporters as part of a crackdown on hateful posts at the popular online bulletin board, while the game streaming platform Twitch briefly suspended the president's channel. Twitch, the gaming platform owned by Amazon, said Trump's channel was suspended over rules violations and that the offending content was removed. 
Iran has issued an arrest warrant and asked the Interpol for help in detaining President Donald Trump and dozens of others it believes carried out the drone strike that killed a top Iranian general in Baghdad, according to state media reports. While Trump faces no danger of arrest, the charges underscore the heightened tensions between Iran and the United States since Trump unilaterally withdrew America from Tehran's nuclear deal with world powers. A Tehran prosecutor said Trump and more than 30 others, whom Iran accuses of involvement in the January 3rd strike, face murder and terrorism charges. West Indian all-rounder Dwayne Bravo, who is a huge admirer of MS Dhoni, has finally released the trailer of his upcoming song dedicated to his Chennai Super King skipper. The song is titled Number 7 and the lyrics are based on the 2007 and 2011 World Cup victories and the iconic helicopter shot. The song will be released on July 7th, which is Dhoni's birthday. Amazon has announced that it has fulfilled its promise to eliminate all single-use plastic in its packaging across fulfillment centers in India. Reuters reported the e-commerce giant saying that it has swapped packaging materials such as bubble wraps and air pillows with paper cushions as well as plastic tapes with other biodegradable options. The company had said last September that its India unit would replace single-use plastic in its packaging by June 2020, following Prime Minister Modi's call to end its nationwide usage by 2022. If you've ever wondered what being in space smells like, now you may be able to know. In 2008, space agency NASA contacted chemist Steve Pierce to recreate the scent of space. Pierce took almost four years to complete the challenge. However, the scent was never made available to the public. Kickstarter Order Space is now working to make the perfume available to everyone. Astronauts describe the scent as a smell from a gun right after you fire the shot. There are also plans to make a fragrance called the smell of the moon in the near future.